Run if you hear this in crypto, or you will get fucking wiped. That's what Gareth Soloway means in his latest interview as he goes through his insane new prediction for Bitcoin and the crypto markets. Thanks to Gary Gensler and his market manipulation tactics, a lot is happening in crypto that is about to destroy everyone. If you put your money in Bitcoin or altcoins, you need to open your eyes and see Gareth's chart analysis in this video, or you will be one of them. And he's even predicting that Bitcoin and Ethereum will go down, just like my bank account goes when my wife uses my credit card, and this is not good. I think you and I both remember about a month or two ago when Bitcoin was knocking on that 30,000 door, everyone was saying, get ready, load the boat for the all season move here. This is going to be it, remember? And um, we know that we know that that did not occur. And, and one of the things that I brought forward, which is a very logical way of thinking, is I love to use this um, this kind of example, which is if you just take a market with 10 people in it, right? And at first, there's no one long a stock or a crypto, um, but slowly people start buying, right? So what when you get to the point where everyone's saying the altcoin season is going to happen, get long, essentially everyone that is long is going to get have gotten long. So let's say all 10 people are long. If prices haven't moved up at that point, logic dictates that there's no one else to buy. And all it takes in the market uh, is one or two negatives, one or two sellers, and people start panicking and then start dumping. And so I think I think any time in the future where you hear like, oh, this is going to happen. And by the way, this this is getting into the halving of it too. And and I'm, I'm a skeptic that this next halving is going to have the impact that the last ones have, because that's all I hear now. Oh, don't worry, the altcoin, you know, like, don't worry, the halving is coming up, just be ready for that. And right away, I'm like, mm, that that makes me nervous because then everyone is getting long for that having process. And it means that, again, who left is to buy. I think regulation, I don't know, Ben, how you feel, but but without without regulation framework, I think crypto is in a heap of trouble for a period until we get that regulation. But if you looked back at 2021 right here and you looked at the midpoint of the cycle and then you saw here, it made sense that this was going to be where the most resistance on the chart was going to be. If Bitcoin was going to fail its move, it was going to be on this pierce of 30,000. Now, not just not just 30 hitting and kissing, but it actually needed to pierce 30 because psychologically, when price pierces an even number, that just having that three in front, that 30,000 versus 29, it's going to trigger more people to go long and it's going to stop out people that are short. And so essentially you get the biggest switches at these even numbers. And that's exactly what we saw here. And so once that occurred, then price could actually start to come down because you got your max people long and there were not really any people left that weren't long at that point. Same thing with all coins and, and so forth. And if you're not convinced yet, prepare for what's happening next. Not even the altcoins will survive this next crash, according to Gareth, as there's no regulation and big money is afraid of entering the markets and getting scammed. You know, at some point, I do expect Bitcoin and Ethereum to crack and come down. And in general, that's not going to be good for the alts, because if if you have people getting scared, even at the top, the, the best, I mean, Bitcoin, again, if there's one that's going to survive, that's not going to be regulated by the SEC. It's Bitcoin. If that breaks and starts to collapse down, let's say it even gets back to 20,000, very, very hard for money to feel comfortable to go into the even riskier assets like the Cardanos and the Solanas and those other ones as well. There's a reason why Gareth, a guy with 20 plus years of experience trading stocks, and now crypto is saying that a new crash is about to happen as soon as the hype comes. Remember that Gareth predicted the 2021 top for Bitcoin and said Bitcoin was coming back to 20K. And while everyone laughed, and mocked him, saying Bitcoin was still flying, he proved right again. So when you have everything saying, buy the dip now, here's what Gareth is thinking instead. So the same things in terms of what happened in 2021 and even what happened over the last few months with the, the meme coin, shit coin kind of situation where, where you had these people that were just, they were bringing to market anything. I mean, it could have been like, hey, we drop ship you know, widgets, it like literally meant nothing, but they would name their company widget.com, right? Pets.com, right. like all these dot coms. And instantaneously, they would shoot up hundreds of percentage, they would 10x, you know, 15x, 20x, um, you'd have these pump and dump schemes, which, again, unfortunately, crypto Twitter and some of these other things that's happened as well, where you had these people that would go on these message boards back then, by the way, the internet was in its infancy, but you still had these like Yahoo message boards, where people would go on and pump and say, Oh, this is going to be the next greatest thing. It was kind of the influencer type type group of the early ages of the internet. And so you had the same 
mentality coming into it, which, which again, if you notice in these crazy periods and other assets, you'll have the same sort of thing. People repeat, right? Leopards don't change their stripes as they say. And so you have the same sort of impact, the same sort of bad behavior, if you will, that goes on. And by the way, you could go back to the 1980s with, with you know, you know, you look at the Jordan Belforts and, and stuff like that with the pumping of the, the penny stocks and stuff like that. I mean, it happens every so often because greed and fear never change. Right. So the greed of people will make them want to believe that whatever it is, even if they know deep down it has no value, they still believe that they can 10x their money and then sell it to someone else at a higher level. And that in and of itself, was what raised flags for me is just being like holy cow i'm having like ptsd flashback from the 1999 to 2000 level this is exactly what people were doing and look at how it came out something's wrong here when you, when you have things that are being shielded that do not have any intrinsic value or use case even that's a warning sign so so we have market manipulation happening hype in social media the u.s government banks and the fed trying to take down crypto while there's no big money coming in it makes sense that a massive crash is coming up next unless something changes and there's more once we hit 2020, there was this flood of liquidity, right? You, you had so many situations where people were locked down, so they weren't driving, so they weren't spending money on gas. They weren't going out to eat. They weren't spending on money for food. The Fed, the government, the U.S. government was sending people checks if you made less than X amount of money. Um, and, so, and so people, a lot of people were just sitting behind their computer looking and seeing what was going on and they have more and more money that they had in terms of liquidity and we know the fed was flooding the the banking system with liquidity and so it kind of created this almost tidal wave of hey i've got lots of money i can't do anything with it let me figure it out oh this is like you know it's, it's almost a gambler's mentality oh this looks like something i can do and all of a sudden you hear about stories about dogecoin and someone making a, a five million dollars on dogecoin and it's very much like the the mentality of the lottery right deep down we know I, I play the lottery when it's like above half a billion dollars, right? That's like my key thing. And, and deep down, I know I'm not going to win, but it's just fun. It's exciting. And so you get these people to kind of have this mentality of saying, hey, listen, if this person can do it, maybe I can win that lottery in 10x, 100x my money. And I think that lured a lot of people in. Um, and then now the Fed, I mean, that's the bottom line. The Fed is sucking out all this liquidity. And, and that makes it very, very tricky for it basically it makes it tricky for scams to exist when you suck out liquidity, right? Think about Bernie Madoff, right? Bernie Madoff, as long as things were going great, he could pay off investors that wanted to pull out with more money that he was taking in. But as soon as we saw the 2008, 2009 collapse and people freaked out and he wasn't getting money in the door, that's when these scams are exposed. And I think that's so important for people to understand. The altcoins are even more in danger and the Bitcoin dominance chart is as straightforward as it can be. I just wanted to show that Bitcoin dominance chart because I think it's such an important chart how you've been knocking on this 49% level over and over again and then look at what's happening right here and, and one of the things you're mentioning is dead on is number one charting as a chartist which is what i do is that it tells you the more you knock on a door the more likely eventually you break through and so in this case this door was a firm door stretching back to really uh 2021 right um and and the and again I'm, a, I'm big on analogies and examples think about this folks when when you go up to a door let's say it's locked let's say your cat's in there your house is on fire you really have to get through that door you're going to run against it bam into it right chances are it's not going to break the first time you do it again it might start to crack you do it again it cracks a little bit more by the fourth or fifth hit that door is going to give way think about charts and res resistance levels the same way where you're running against the door you're running against the door over and over again finally it cracks and breaks to the upsides i think people have to remember that the bitcoin dominance is a shorter term trend meaning that that if you go back further i mean it was way way higher just before that 2021 bull market so just like we said this was consolidating kept on hitting resistance finally in the process of breaking out right here on the uh, bitcoin dominance chart now in all fairness, there's not a lot of resistance on the way up now. I mean, you're getting to a point where there's a big move coming in this Bitcoin dominance. And the first thing I see, and I'll put a trend line in, see all these kind of pivot points right in here, right, right across here, this low right in there. And you're right about that. Look at this. Look at how you kind of can draw a line right across here. And what's even more amazing in this, if you take the highs of Bitcoin dominance from 2017, and you connect it to the highest point in 2021, look at the convergence of those two trend lines. And this, again, I love how your data 
is confirmed by my data and it's vice versa because it really i think that's very powerful when you see a confluence of these type of things and so so i'm right around that 59 60 percent level in terms of bitcoin dominance absolutely but there's still hope this could at least save bitcoin regular yeah. let's say let's say magically we get regulation and clarity right. um big institutions like i mean that's that's my case right is that that right now there's no no one with big money is going near crypto because it, there's just it's just way too uncertain so right. so if you did get clarity and it was like definitive clarity then you do i i do at least think with bitcoin that you would see big money start to inch in a little bit want to see what's happening to ethereum let us know in the comments below and watch this video so you know what created this ticking bomb that's about to blow up bye